Hey guys, welcome back to some Snooker 19 career mode on Easy Life. Today, we continue our last 64 match against Kurt Mafflin. I've just looked it up, I think it is a 64, 64 player event because I only played one qualifying match. I beat Fang Zengi, I don't know if it was 4 1 or 4 0, but it doesn't really matter. Fang Zengi, 4 something, but yeah. So 3 1 up at the uh, so called mid session. Well, it's not even a mid session, they wouldn't have had one in a best of seven, but yeah. 3 1 up, hopefully, we can make a uh, solid contribution and finish this match nice off quickly. Nice off quickly, nice and quickly. Uh, yeah. A little bit disappointed that it is a 64 player event. It is so, uh, still got a very long way to go, that means. So yeah, here we go, breaking off in frame five of this, uh, this round match. Yeah, with that in mind, I'll probably strive a bit harder to win my next match 4-0 so that I can start filming more fast, obviously. I like to get through three a day videos. It's just, uh, yeah. I, I'm playing too defensive in these break-offs, so I think I'm just going to try and split it up a little bit, but not too much. Oh, what a look at that, 40% on the dot, well, my intention, not what I actually did, what I actually did was um, some sort of a setup. If I haven't left something on here, well, pays to be attacking, doesn't it? Look at this for a chance now to close the match out in style. This is tough. Don't get me wrong, this is tough. Impressive, impressive opening red to quote Fancy though. But yeah, yeah, it was impressive regardless of what Neil said. And look at this, I got balls everywhere. If this pink goes, which it doesn't, it was a fantastic opportunity. But yeah, nonetheless, it's still a great chance to score really heavy now. Which is obviously what I'd love to do every single frame. You know, I want nothing more than to score super well. The balls are there, but you got to pot them to score any points, to win any frames. And that was not a heavy enough screw back. Yeah, I needed to screw back a little bit further, I think. It's okay, I should still get this red into the corner. I wanted, I didn't, I wanted to pop this red bit into the uh, uh, left centre pocket rather than the left corner pocket. It's still there though. <sighs> Off the knuckle, but it looked in, and it was in. I pop the yellow, I did pop the yellow the first time around. Well, I'll be dropping this blue in this time. Bet them as a gentle pace. Now the question is, does the black pot into the... no it doesn't. Oh, does this pot? Does this pot? Oh, oh, it does. Make no mistake, that's tricky. Yep. It's a tricky little break because I've obviously got to play it for the blue or bulk colour every time. But I don't mind as long as I can get going. I've got plenty of time to win one frame. And obviously a maximum of three frames this recording, this uh, video. So yeah, just uh, sit back and uh, enjoy this premiere. I don't even know what day this is going to premiere on, is it? It's Friday night, I think? Friday the 4th of June? Yeah, I think this is Friday the 4th of June. Man, I've got through this week. Friday the 4th of June, man. It's obviously not nowhere near that. It's uh, not even a week before that, yeah. It's, uh, it's beyond a week before. It's actually just Tuesday 25th of May at the moment at the time of recording this. Man, I'm well in front of my schedule. My intention is to have videos premiering every day so that I don't have to film them every day like even when I'm at school and stuff so I'm kind of just I don't have to worry about filming them every day kind of just chill I mean I don't spend all my day on these videos so I, I do have other things that I like doing but yeah these videos are enjoyable to make like I do enjoy playing 
Like if it weren't for career mode on Snooker 19, my videos, Snooker 19 videos would probably be long gone from this channel. So would uh, anything, so would my channel really, it wouldn't be, there wouldn't be much left of it. Yep, that goes. I'm just going to punch this blue in. 18. Yeah, after all that, I just uh, kind of missed a trick and forgot well, that. Nearly missed a trick and forgot that that red. Just ignored the fact that that red went so simply. Just play for the cheap blue here. 19. We can uh, knock this blue in. And I'll just play down for that red there. You say give this blue on. That was more, uh, more powerful than I would have liked. Inch perfect. Twenty-four. Inch perfect. Okay, yeah, I see what I mean. They've got a rich red. This is still a tough red. It's still missable. He's going to the left centre here. No, it was always a missable red. You know when you know that. Oh, it's just. I should learn to trust my instinct a bit more. I put too much into science on this game and too much into One. physics and the angles and all that. I should just trust my instinct. I missed that red because I was trusting Three. angles too much. I should have put my trust into my instinct. It, it, that's the issue. Like obviously they don't have an aim they don't have an aiming aid in real life. Like I'm probably gonna Like I'm just throwing away a great opportunity for my first century break. Like he should win this frame, really. Although he's messed up there, I think. No? Yeah? He messed up. But it's not as exciting coming to the table now because I can't make sentry, so it just doesn't feel the same. Like the sentry breaks, the biggest incentive to score heavy for me. Like I'm not even bothered about winning at this point because I know I'm going to win. Like there's no way I'm going to lose this match. Not if he's playing shots like that. One. Like against Trump, I wouldn't care about sentries. I just care about winning. So I don't even think this is going to go in. I think we missed it, but here we go. Yeah, it did look a bit like it was going to hit that far jaw. I thought it might have just dropped in, and it did. It did. It was fine. Still everybody playing risky shots now, like, yeah. At least I freed the black. It just kind of makes the scoring opportunity more enjoyable. I suppose at the very least I've got a bit of potting practice for my next match. Which is the last 30, which is really the last 32. But I missed that by a very long way. A very long way. Good chance for Kurt to feel to clear up here. Well, I don't know about clear up, but to certainly get right back into his frame. He's back of pots is blue. He's missed a few easy blues, but uh, I think that'll be under break unless he sneaks this into the middle. No, he didn't. I'm just going to play a risky trickle down the cushion here. I don't see the value in taking on anything else. No. Yeah, I didn't see the value in anything else, though, that was the thing. But that won't provide any solace. I know you all want a century, so I'm just deliberately playing risky. I mean... I want to win this match in style. So that's either going to be doing a century or doing a few exhibition shots. 
Why did their fab would fall into the latter of exhibition right. shots, obviously. So 3 2 it looks like. Obviously, I don't really want to lose the next one. You know, I'm not really, I'm not really too fussed to have lost this frame. I had a good start to it, but I lost my interest as soon as the century was off. And. Well, this match has some exciting life left in it yet. So. The, these four pots to force a respotted black. Could, I think it might be the first for the series. So that would be exciting, wouldn't it, guys? Yes. I know you want to see it. Oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. What on earth was that? No more than half a chance here. Trying to get to exhibitionalize it. Exhibitionalize? Is that even a word? Exhibitionalize. What the hell? 15. Yeah, I think also, also incentivised me to just win the match now is that, oh, that, what a safety. Is that uh, I've, got, I've, I've got a battery cell of one now. But that was a good safety shot, I feel. Oh, he's played a safety. He's played a, not a bad safety either, so I can't get too content. Let's just get right in behind this. Yeah, the shot I really wanted to play there. Okay, I've left him a very tricky That's an excellent black. And he's left me a tricky black. He's taking this on. So this black is not for the frame, it'll be a tie and a respot. There we go. It's not for the frame, but it's for a tie and a respot, and that's where we're heading. Hopefully I'll win the coin toss. All on this then, the frame will be decided by a respot. So it's his first Bloody shot. Oh, I would have been a bit annoyed if he'd potted that. But uh, yeah, we are going to be going through to the next round by the looks of it. On a 4-1 scoreline, so long as I just this sink... Required to win the frame. So long as I sink this black. It's not the easiest black along... A long distance, I know, I know it seems strange that I missed that, but it wasn't the easiest part in the world. Yeah, I probably am not going to get such an easy chance as the one I've just had, but yeah. Part of game, part of, part of life, part of snooker. Risk reward, you know. It was a risk, although it shouldn't have been, but uh, it wasn't one that uh, was going to cost me. I did, because I did get it safe, luckily enough. I got a chance here to knock this in and to go through to the next round. Well, this'll the Pressure on this. Pressure, but we win. What a stop. What a uh, pulsating ending to that match, you know. More pressure than it should have been, but what a win. What a way to win on the respot. I think we might have had a respot earlier in the match, but yeah, break of seven to clinch the uh, match. Man, it seems weird the black being the first ball of the break, but yeah, four friends to one. So play five out of the seven. Might a 67 break. I don't think he did it. I think, uh, I think we did have a good break in frame through four, maybe. Oh, so I got three, three, four points, and he that that mean their means, their four means got well. Let me let me count and do the maths. One hundred and eighty-two, probably. Yeah, seems about right. So who we got in the third round or the second round or the uh, last thirty-two? So who are we gonna get? We are gonna get. Dun, dun, dun. Just gonna wait for the music. Lee Hang, oh no, we've played Lee Hang before, <laughs> and um, let's just say it wasn't the most exciting, uh, well, let's just say it wasn't the most uh, enjoyable experience. It was uh, one that made me pretty frustrated, it was one that, uh, it was one that I did well to forget about. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he, tr he, uh, he traumatised me in that best of nine at the World Open, I think. But yeah, hopefully we can... Uh, we're aiming for uh, some sweet revenge on Lee next time round. World number 29, so yeah, this, this could be a good match. So the winner of this is stands to gain an extra 2,000 ranking points and pounds, which, you know, pounds don't really matter in this game. It's just ranking points that we care about. 
There's the ranking event, I think, yeah. Event type ranking. Um, so yeah, round two, match length, seven frames again. I think this is modelled off the 2017 version of the tournament. 2018 one had 128 players, I think. Or did it, it, it yeah. Jimmy Robertson won in 2018, believe it or not, I think. That was the one he won, man. It's talk about it being a surprise winner. But yeah, surprise winners left, right and centre. Jordan Brown, Yan Bing Tao, Jimmy Robertson. You know, Ryan Day. But yeah, he's not a surprise winner. Mark King, surprise winner a few years back. Uh, who else have we had surprise winners? Um, Joe Johnson. Not too long ago, only 1986. Anyway, look forward to that match next time around. Um, thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Have a good day. Please subscribe and like, but uh, do make sure you have a good day as well. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Goodbye.